No, in stacking hay with the derrick, the first thing you do is go in and determine the location of the base of your stack. Uh, it's measured out depending on the size of your derricks. Ours used to be eight steps long by four steps wide. And of course, the people that stepped that out took pretty long steps. So it would uh, amount to something like a stack 16 by 30 some feet. Then you back the derrick in, again the stack. The mast like this is setting right again the stack. Then to keep the derrick up after the, it's turned loose from the running gear, you have to have guy wires. One guy wire always goes across the corner of the stack. That's uh, put there so you can get the proper swing on it. The other guy wire goes out this way, just missing this end of the stack. And then, of course, the third one has to be come out through the middle of this. That keeps the thing from tipping over. If you don't have your uh, guy wires set at the right angle, of course, your derrick won't stand up. And then the boom comes out here and rests. So the net will rest on the ground right alongside the stack. And the people on the buck rakes bring the hay in like this. As the stack uh, comes up, then the boom will swing around like this. And wh how far it swings depends on where they want the hay on the stack to make a good uniform stack. It will swing around like that, probably here. And they'll dump a load of hay here. And then at any point in between here, sometime uh, they rotate. It's dumped at all different points in between there. This cable has to have a little more tension than the other so the loaded boom will swing. You don't set your derrick perpendicular, it sets at a little bit of an angle. The derrick itself, a side view, will be something like this. There's a frame here, a running gear as it were, uh, and the base of the derrick. There's two wheels here, two wheels here. The mast of the derrick sets here. It will be about 50 feet high. Off of that, about three quarters way up, there's a boom that works on a hinge that can be raised and lowered. Then there's what they call a false boom here. The only purpose of it is to get better angle on your cables. There's a cable goes from the end of this uh, boom up through a pulley up here, back down through another pulley on the false boom, and down to a ratchet box here. That's the way you uh, move your boom up and down with this ratchet box. This boom will come up then when you get ready to stack, and you'll set it at an angle about like so. And that angle changes as your, uh, as your uh, stack gets higher. And of course, this cable here, it is fastened out on the end here, and that's what holds your boom up then. And then there's another cable that comes down to a big pulley here and goes out here to a tractor that uh, pulls it up, pulls the hay up. And this cable will run up through a pulley and the false boom, up through another pulley over the top of this pulley, out to another pulley in the end of the boom, and then it comes back down to the ground. And the net, which is made out of inch pipe, lays on the ground here. And there's two pieces to it. It's a uh, hinge in the middle. The people on the buck rake push their hay up onto this net. Then it's hooked together and hooked into here. The tractor backs up and pulls the net up here. And to get at the right point, well, it's swinging a little all the time as it goes up. It'll swing then over the stack. Your stack will set here. And as it swings over, it drops the hay onto the stack. This boom will come over and set over the stack and drop the hay on the stack at various places, depending on how the stack boss wants the hay. He hollers at the guy down here to dump, and they dump it where he wants it. And as the stack gets higher, he'll raise this boom, and you can build a stack approximately as high as the top of the mast.